Jamaica, a beautiful island with a rich history and culture, but it's also a country with big dreams. In recent years, Jamaica is going all in with some serious development projects. Think of better roads, bigger ports, and more. It's like Jamaica's gearing up for a mega makeover. So, stick around because we're about to peek behind the island's game-changing projects. Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Program A major endeavor in Jamaican infrastructure development. The Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Program is an $11.5 billion, three-phase plan to rehabilitate the 165-kilometer section of roadway between Maypen and Port Antonio. The first two phases will involve the construction of a new four-lane roadway between Maypen and Yalas, as well as the enlargement and restoration of the existing route between Yalas and Port Antonio. The third phase beginning in 2024 will involve the construction of a new four-lane motorway connecting Port Antonio and Morant Bay. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2027. When completed, the new roadway will enhance traffic flow, cut travel times, and offer travelers with a safer and more efficient route. It will also stimulate economic activity in the southern parishes of Jamaica. North Coast Highway Improvement Project the North Coast Highway Improvement Project is a substantial endeavor with a budget of $5.5 billion, aiming to revitalize a 100-kilometer stretch of road from Ocho Rios to Port Maria. This comprehensive project includes the construction of a new four-lane roadway between Ocho Rios and Anoto Bay, along with the enlarging and repairing of the existing route from Anoto Bay to Port Maria, anticipated for completion in 2025. This project is set to bring about significant improvements, not just in traffic flow and reduced travel times, but also in enhancing traveler safety. Moreover, it seeks to invigorate economic activity in the north coast parishes of Jamaica. Montego Bay Cruise Terminal Expansion Now let's talk about the fascinating millions dollars. Montego Bay Cruise Terminal Expansion, which aims to significantly increase the Montego Bay Cruise Terminal's ability to handle larger cruise ships. The expansion includes the construction of a state-of-the-art pier terminal facility and a convenient parking garage with a projected completion date set for 2024. This ambitious project holds the promise of transforming the Montego Bay Cruise Terminal into a bustling hub that can accommodate up to 3,000 passengers per day. The remarkable expansion not only means more cruise ships gracing Montego Bay's shores, but also signifies a substantial boost in the local economy encouraging more tourists and business opportunities. It's a positive initiative that will definitely increase the popularity of Montego Bay as a travel destination for cruise enthusiasts. Jamaica Railway Rehabilitation Project The Jamaica Railway Rehabilitation Project is a substantial $500 million endeavor dedicated to revitalizing the country's railway infrastructure. This comprehensive restoration plan involves repairing Jamaica's railway tracks, bridges, and stations. Also, new rolling stock will be purchased to enhance the railway system. The Jamaica Railway was formerly an important element of the country's transportation network, but it has since fallen into disrepair. However, this restoration project seeks to breathe new life into it, restoring its former glory and ensuring it becomes a dependable mode of transportation once more. Beyond transportation, this initiative holds the promise of boosting tourism in world Jamaica by providing improved access to some of the country's most attractive sites. Jamaica Cyber City The Jamaica Cyber City, also known as the Cyber Metropolis Project, is a massive $500 million initiative aimed at constructing a state-of-the-art hub for information technology and telecommunications companies right in the heart of Kingston. This cutting-edge city will provide top-notch infrastructure, including high-speed internet, reliable power supply, and advanced security measures, tailored to cater to the needs of these tech enterprises. It's expected to become a global attraction, drawing companies from around the world and generating thousands of job opportunities. New National Stadium with a $200 million budget. The goal is to build a state-of-the-art national stadium in Kingston. The new stadium will seat up to 40,000 spectators and will host a range of various sporting activities such as football, cricket, and track and field. This initiative, which aims to create over 1,000 job opportunities, is expected to have a major positive impact on Kingston's economy. Unlike the current national stadium, which requires extensive renovation, 
the new stadium will be a cutting-edge facility capable of accommodating international athletic events. Additionally, the stadium is also intended to be a major tourist attraction because it will be Jamaica's premier stadium capable of hosting large-scale events. Montego Bay Convention Center Expansion Moving on to the Montego Bay Convention Center Expansion, this significant $150 million undertaking aims to expand and enhance the Montego Bay Convention Center's facilities. As essential parts of the project, the expansion involves constructing a new ballroom, exhibition hall, and parking garage with the aim of creating about 500 employment opportunities. The expansion project is essential to supporting the tourism industry in Montego Bay. The new additions will not only expand the center's capabilities, but also increase its popularity as a venue for international events, which will increase tourism and encourage investment in the city. This comprehensive expansion is set to benefit both the Convention Center and Montego Bay's overall economic landscape, making it a more appealing and competitive destination for conferences and exhibitions. Montego Bay Deep Water Harbor the ambitious Montego Bay Deepwater Harbor project, with an estimated budget of $1 billion, represents a transformative initiative geared towards constructing a cutting-edge deep water port. This new port infrastructure is specifically designed to accommodate larger ships, thereby offering substantial benefits to the local economy. The project envisions a harbor capable of welcoming more substantial cruise liners and freight ships to Montego Bay. One of the primary objectives of the Montego Bay Deep Water Harbor is to create a port facility that can cater to the needs of larger vessels. This strategic enhancement is not only a boom for maritime activities, but is poised to make a significant economic impact. Furthermore, the projected increase in tourism stemming from the expanded harbor facilities is a key element of the initiative. As more cruise liners find Montego Bay an accessible destination, the local tourism sector is poised to experience growth. This, in turn, has the potential to create additional jobs within the hospitality and service industries. The country's investment in mega projects reflects a forward-looking approach to economic growth and infrastructure development. Well, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.